Hey Cougs, Adrian Romero here for At UH News. Whether you're new to UH or already a couple semesters in, there are plenty of clubs and communities here on campus that you don't want to miss being a part of. The American Advertising Federation is one of over 500 organizations offered here, and in addition to connecting its members to possible internships and networking opportunities through social events and competitions, they are also preparing students for successful careers in advertising, marketing, PR, and other related fields. I got a chance to talk with the AAF members as well as the group's president about their experiences within the team and what they plan on doing next. Check it out. I decided to join AAF because while I was a part of it last semester, I was completely blindsided by all the amazing people I met, to be honest, and the faculty that I met. I mean, I've made connections virtually, so it's been very interesting to get to know people and become friends with people in this way, but I've really enjoyed it so far. Uh, my experience with AAF has honestly been very fruitful. When I first joined AAF, it was such a relief to kind of finally be with a group of pe people that like wanted to do the same thing as me. I've been able to just meet so many cool people that have led to other, you know, endeavors as well. Honestly, has started the start of my advertising career. So if it wasn't for AAF, I wouldn't have been able to do that experience, which has been extremely beneficial. Okay, so after hearing what AAF has been like for some of its members, let's see what's next for the program. I'm sitting with the American Advertising Federation President, William Bessar, along with Jennifer Trong, who is the president of another UH org called the Public Relations Student Society of America. Together, they have worked to create the Diversity Inclusion Summit event that will take place virtually on November 10th and plans to discuss diversity, inclusion, and equality in the advertising and public rela relations fields. You know, thanks for joining me today. It's really nice of y'all to be here. Thanks for having us. We're super excited. Yeah, man. Thanks for having us. Of course. Yeah. So talk about this event, uh, what it is, and like what, what it was like working together to make it happen. So I think in April, you know, I got in contact with her faculty advisor who connected us to, you know, plan out some type of event. Um, our faculty advisor is Professor Fix and uh, Professor Kelly are both really close in the Lengthy Building, and so me and Jennifer connected and you know exchanged emails on you know being new presidents during a pandemic. No one gave us a playbook for that, and and so we just decided, you know, what are we going to do? Is it possible for us to co you know collaborate on something? And you know, through a lot of time and getting to know each other, we came up with doing a joint venture, um, and we just slowly developed. And came up with diversity and inclusion, which are two really big deals for our organizations, and we have programs dedicated to doing that. So I think it just really also it's a very current topic. So we knew we could get a lot of people on board with that. Yeah, I think coming from such a diverse school too, it was really important for us to talk about something like this, um, especially with PR and advertising being kind of more white dominant industries and we're coming from such a diverse school it was like it was more obvious for us to kind of facilitate conversation around that and it's been really cool working together um i've never really done anything like this before as you said it's our first time being president um so during a pandemic but working together i think has been super great because instead of like competing for members we're like coming together to create a shared experience for everyone so it's been really nice just sharing ideas and different things like that Awesome. So what does diversity and inclusion mean to y'all and how do y'all translate that into your respective organizations? Being a minority, not having those same kind of opportunities other people would have. Um, I think AF has given me a lot personally with being an Addy winner, being on the NSAC team, being president, being an officer in the organization, you know, it's given me so many opportunities. I know a lot of other people too get experience, get recognition that they otherwise wouldn't have access to. Uh, made, for instance, the multicultural um, honor class that we have you know, in a, uh, so I think it's just, I don't know, I just wanna give as much as I've gotten out of AAF. Um, so we really try to kind of facilitate that diversity and inclusion whenever we are like looking for people to join our executive board. like. It's just really important to have all these different ideas if we were all the same cookie cutter person like there would be nothing like this happening you know there wouldn't be any new events every single semester would be the same members wouldn't have anything to look forward to so i think that's kind of how we try to create that in our organizations um at least in PRSSA, i know you can kind of say the same too and that's been kind of something i've been trying to recreate 
with everything being virtual and us not really being in contact technically with each other. So yeah, man, AAF is just a really diverse background, especially with like our officers, like she like she said, and our members come from all over. And that's just because we're in Houston. So we want to represent the city that represents everybody. That's awesome, guys. And where can we get tickets to this event? All in all, the AF and I think PRSSA mediums, you can, there's a link to the hop-in where you can get tickets for non-members. That's all, that's all the questions I got for y'all. And uh, be sure to click on the Get Involved tab and Access UH to check out AF and PRSSA and other clubs that might be a good fit for you. I'm Major Romero, and this is at UH News, your school, your story.